Welcome back, I hope you're all well. Today, Brentford are playing Liverpool in the early kickoff at home. Now, we got a really big win last week and a clean sheet as well, which is a huge bonus, especially considering the amount of points we've dropped from winning positions this season. It's going to be a really tough game. Liverpool are having a brilliant season so far, right near the top of the league. Now, of course, I'm not expecting to get anything today, but I want to see that fight from the players. And you never know with Brentford, we could nick something today. We're always hopeful. I mean, we have been playing well the last few weeks, even though some of the results haven't gone our way. But hopefully today we can get something. Come on, Brentford. Just on the edge. Ooh, on target. Go on, Ivan. Oh! Hey, Ivan Tony. Great ball from Neil Mope, though. Combinations. Keep him there. Salah's come on. It's a massive chance for him. I think it was Alexis McAllister. I'm not too sure. It's going to be difficult to get anything now. Come on. Good. Good. Oh, he's offside. On their return. Brentford, suit of bees. I'll tell you what, he's done really well. 
Good, that's good. No way. What kind of goal is that to concede? That is just like... That is, I mean... So many mistakes. You can tell by the body language, can't you? Cannot be giving away goals like that and expect to be getting points. Just when we were building a bit of momentum as well. It's way too easy. Full time in Brentford, I've lost 4-1 to Liverpool and it was a clinical display from the league leaders. They go five points clear at the top of the league. But in fairness, I thought we started quite well. First half was fairly even. Both sides created a couple of chances. It was our free kick that led to their goal. We lumped it into the box, lose it and really fast on the break. And it was Darwin Nunes that finished it off for them. But when there's only one goal in it, there's always a chance that second goal was going to be key and it was just sloppy from then on in giving away goals too easily and it's been a bit of a common trend over the last couple of months I think it was Louis Diaz that gave them their second with a neat finish into the corner and then Mohamed Salah on his return managed to score that was a really sloppy goal as well though we did manage to pull one back to make it 3-1 Ivan Tony with another goal so he's been in really good goal scoring form any momentum that we'd gathered from that was just removed straight away when Cody Gakpo made it 4-1 and we can't expect to concede four goals especially the goals like we did today and get anything against anyone in this league let alone Liverpool who were top so I think defensively we need to improve and solid foundations have been key over the last couple of seasons for us but they were really lacking today. I thought Sergio Julian put on a really good shift for us at a left wing back today. He was probably my man of the match. I think we really did miss Ethan Pinnock though in central defence. Ah! 